overflows orgasm not release instead a celebration my approach to life and living is different not based on old existing values and traditions it is based on my deep understanding of life and living it it emerged out of my love affair with life and the principles guiding life and living that is consciousness it is all inclusive nothing is rejected or condemned or nothing is given more significance than other total remember life cannot be transformed with existing human perception remember Life cannot be transformed with existing human perception. Only then, one day, you will transcend beyond body. You will know the Trinity, life, love and light. Life is the beginning, the alpha. Light is the ultimate, the omega. Love bridges two shores of existence, life and light in politics the diplomatic policy for international relations centers around two words first is distance create distance with those who do not agree with you and close nearness with those who agree with your policies thus we create friends and enemies a division is created in this process, we forget that we are not aliens nor as a strangers join. We are bound to each other by a causeless force beyond the boundaries of nation, gender, color and language, etc. Remember, the whole body is yours. It was created as a synergy harmony between diverse and opposing forces each part or organ is different as far as its functioning is concerned but each had a deep interconnection with other organs for life and living different parts have to work in harmony with each other body is like a vehicle it functions at its optimum when all components, big or small, significant and insignificant, are given equal importance, attention and maintenance. In a vehicle, the tires are as important as rims, a steering wheel, battery, engine, etc. Proper and efficient functioning requires a deep understanding of body, life and living. So too is human body. No part or organ is unnecessary. The role of each organ is important for the process of transformation. The function of each organ may differ. You have to follow the policy of deep understanding and nearness with each part or organ and its role etc. Such is my approach for transformation. Give necessary importance to each role and when each part functions at its optimum, life is bliss and harmony. Up to now, your experience of sex had been centered around the body, sex of the body, for the body and by the body had been the understanding. When sex is a realization beyond body, then you can transform. Therefore, when you have known your sexuality completely, 
you are sure to stumble over your spirituality one day and you will be free at the beginning there are two shivering energies at the end there is one circle not two tantra is not a technique instead love it is not a technique but a prayer it is not aimed at head but aimed at relaxation inside your heart the whole meditation is basically an experience of sex without sex the whole meditation is basically an experience of bliss or sex without sex the state of sexless sex many people make love but they have no idea of what orgasm is because they are already dissipated their energies are dissipated when they are making love they are empty when they are making love there is no energy to be shared among one another when they are making love they cannot overflow because there is no energy flowing within their orgasm is at the most genital their orgasm is very small mediocre happening such orgasm is has nothing of any spiritual value it is like a sneeze yes after a sneeze you feel a little better or like a scratching your back it feels good you are relieved orgasm is not a relief instead a celebration an orgasm is a meeting of you through the other with the whole orgasm is meeting of you through the other with the whole orgasm is always divine the other becomes door and you enter through that door into the divine orgasm is always a spiritual it is never sexual those who think orgasm is sexual have not yet understood anything at all and they do not know anything about sex also they do not know anything about orgasmic experiences orgasm is almost is always transcendental samadhi ecstasy but people do not know because they meet out of need not out of overflowing energies in most of the cases there is the need at the physical level then it cannot there is no energy overflowing so when you are in love a great need arises to be alone only in love remember a great need arises to be alone the real lovers are those who give freedom to the other to be alone they will be full of energy soon once they are alone and they will come together and shower their energies on each other when alone a great desire arises to share see the rhythm when in love you would like to be alone and when alone you would like to be in love so lovers come close and go away again and again they come close and go away there, there is a rhythm in it this is a rhythm going away is not anti love going away is just getting your aloneness again cherishing it and 
the beauty of it and the joy of it. But whenever you are full of joy, an intrinsic, inevitable necessity arises to share it. Nobody can contain joy. Even in ordinary life, when you experience a moment of joy, you want to share it with your near and dear. And the joy that can be contained by you is not of much worth. The joy is bigger than you. It cannot be contained by you. It is a flood. You cannot contain it. You have to seek and search for people to share with it. This is what these talks, Tao overflows, or life with Tao are. They are sharing of the ecstasy, inner joy, or bliss that I experience during the moments of solitude. And that is what we, that is being shared with you all. Enough for now.